Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog at Cornwall Car Care. So the Range Rover went yesterday. We now have this Mercedes CLA. It's a 2023 model. So what is this in for? We have some scratches on the driver's side rear door, rear quarter, tailgate and bumper. The owner doesn't know where they came from, but he wants them removed. So this one's gonna go a little bit differently. First of all, we're gonna do a wash decon, get it all ready. Then we're gonna try and remove the scratches. If we can remove the scratches, we will then do a single stage machine polish to the whole vehicle and then potentially ceramic coat it afterwards. But it all depends on whether I can get these scratches out or not. So let's flip this round. Oh, I don't know if this is going to be able to pick it up out here. Uh, oh, you can just see the outline of that one there. Let's be finger. Yep, I can't really show them out here. The camera's not going to pick them up. So, once I've got it all washed and ready, we will then get it in the studio and we'll be able to have a better look. So yeah, we'll probably set up the camera for the wash stage on this one, uh, as I've got a little bit of time with this vehicle and hopefully get some of the wash process and we will come back once we're all clean, decontaminated and back in here. Sorry, it's first thing in the morning. Right, let's get going. Well, we're almost at the end of the wash stage. So it's had its wash decontamination or chemical decontamination. In here, I've just got Gion foam and just gonna give it a good blanket. And you'll probably notice I didn't go around any intricate areas. So I always try and wait till the end so that all the gaps have had a good flush out throughout the stages and there's less risk of scratching doing it this way right at the end. So yeah, Gion foam, cover the car, go around on my panel gaps, rinse it off, dry it, put it in. And we'll talk about why I'm not gonna clay this car when we get it inside. So let's go.
Right, so we have made it into the studio. The reason why I'm not cl claying this vehicle at the moment is because there's a little story to this car. The scratches, the big scratches that are on it, if I can't remove them, we're not going to go any further with the detail. So my aim is to try and rectify these scratches that are on it. If I can, I will then clay the vehicle and we'll do a single stage machine polish on the rest of the car. But if I can't get these scratches out, then we're not going to go ahead with the detail. So that's kind of the plan that we've got. I don't know how well this camera is going to pick up these scratches. Let's turn it around and see if we can see them. Yeah, so I've basically got to get these sorted first before we carry on with the rest of the detail. So, yeah, probably set up the tripod. And, yeah, see how we're going to get going on these. But that one on the back, above the badge, that's my concern, that one. Oh, it's more down there as well. Just, just see the top of it in the shadow there. Ay, ay, ay. Right, so yeah, set up the camera. Let's see if we can get these out and then we'll carry on with the rest of the detail if I can. Yeah, but other than that, this is really tidy. Very, very tidy. There's a bit of hologramming on that rear quarter where there's scratches, so I assume that somebody's had a go already. Uh, but other than that, yeah, paintwork is really tidy. Still room for improvement. It's still a little bit bloomy around the lights. But yeah, still room for improvement. But yeah, we've got to tackle these scratches first. Let's go! scratches on the back if I couldn't get them to a level that me and the owners were happy with we weren't going to carry on with the detail um, they would probably would have got it painted or or something but yeah we wanted to see if I could make it a lot better before we went on with the rest of the vehicle so there were some very low readings on the tailgate and unfortunately they didn't come out fully. I rounded them off to the point where if you walk past you would never know they were there. But if you catch it at the right angle, at the right light, you can just see the slight indentation of the scratch. It's the best I can get it with the paint readings that I've got. I cannot go all out and just attack it. I, As much as I wanted to, I couldn't do it. With the risk of burning through the paint as well, it's just not worth it. 
So the owners come over last night and they were more than happy with the level that I had got it to. We'll show those a bit later on. Um, as I say, it's not perfect, but it's a lot, lot better than they were. So now that they're happy, we can get on with the claying stage. I've just got built handbar soft clay. Just going over the bonnet now. But it's very, very tidy. So this shouldn't take too long at all. And yeah, let's just get this done. So we'll come back when we're ready to start polishing. Uh, we'll see what we're gonna use, what pad, what polish. Because the paintwork is very tidy. I did notice we've got some deeper scratches on the front here. So I'll probably just cut that and then carry on with the single stage. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on with this. I'll come back when we're doing the polishing. polishing completed. That's definitely added a nice The deep scratches single stage. Yeah, really have heard. Well, that's the polishing stages. Well, that is the polishing stages complete on the Mercedes. Really happy with that single stage. So let's move on to the degreasing stages of the paintwork before we start applying the coatings. So after I've polished a panel, it will then get wiped down with uh, isopropyl alcohol, IPA, After I've polished a panel, that will then get wiped down with IPA mixed 50-50 with distilled water. So that will help remove some of the polishing oils and residue. Then I've now got Spice Hecker 7010, which is a strong panel wipe degreasing product. And then I'll go over that a third time with Geon Prep. I want to make sure that this paintwork is literally squeaky clean before I start applying the coating. I don't want anything to interfere between the paintwork and Geon Infinite Base Type 2.
and Geon Infinite Base Type 2. <laughs> so yeah, I've got some food going. So hopefully I can get it wiped down with Spice Hacker, wiped down with Geon Prep, then have some food, then get the coating on. That's the plan. So yeah, we're gonna get this one coated today. My ball just leaked on my hand. You get that off of there. But yeah, really happy with that, how that single stage has brought out. Just, it's just, the paintwork. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with it wiping down. We'll come back with a bit of footage of me applying John Infinite Facebook 2. Let's get going. Coating is on, so we're now getting on to the tires. And, I don't know, if just see it lifting there and a little bit on this corner. But we are on 120 tires. We got to 100 and I didn't think that this was gonna go much more. We are on 120, so this is gonna be 124 if it lasts. Geon tire. Yeah, while well, this is up in the air, get the tires dressed and then we can get it back down, clean the windows, put the number plates back on, and then we'll be ready for some afters. <laughs> So no wheel coating in this one. Look at that. Oh, I had a good day today. I had a gentleman, Dave, in his Jaguar F-Type. Thank you for stopping in today. New customer, found me on Google, and is now booked in. So yeah, that's booked in for a minor correction coatings. And I had a guy called Robbie, who had his Porsche McCann done. He's obviously found out how easy that is to wash now. And he, he wants his wife's car doing. So that is a Polo GTI coming in. So that's booked in today as well. Yeah, a good day today. Well, we're gonna make it past 124. I'm not gonna go around the corner, corner with that. So we'll come back when it's back on the floor. Mercedes CLA detail completed. This was a bit of a different detail to what I'm used to doing. So there were some deep scratches and I hope the camera picked up 
how deep they were. It was almost as though somebody had got the point of a knife and gone like that. The owner doesn't know how it happened. He doesn't know if he's caused it by washing or if somebody's done it. Nobody is ever going to know how it happened. I know they wanted them out fully, but you, I'm honest on this channel. They're not out fully. I'm... I'm, I'm, I have to deal with what the paint readings are. As much as I wanted to go all out and try and remove them fully, was not the right thing to do. So they are massively improved and I've actually had the couple of customers who have booked their cars in today for details. They've actually, I've asked them to have a just quick walk around and see if they can see anything couldn't see it so that is a good sign hopefully outside you're not going to be able to see them at all but in here under the lights you catch it at the right part you can still see the outline of them but yeah owner came in said that they were happy carry on so the rest of it received a single stage machine polish which just transformed it completely i mean this thing has only got four thousand miles on it very tidy, but there were some swells dotted all around it. But yeah, happy with the results on this one. Considering what the scratches were, I've just looked back at the footage and it's night and day difference. So yeah, unfortunately, not the perfect outcome on this one, but an honest, do the best that I can outcome. Uh, finished off with John Infinite Base Type 2. But yeah, that is cool. Love it. I'm going to get you in now and see if we can see it on the camera at the right angle. Because I want to show you kind of what's left. So let's have a quick look. Oh, you could just see it. Where's my finger? Just above my finger there. There's a little indent of what's left of the scratch. But again, if I... Kind of come out a little bit. You wouldn't know it was there. So I am very happy that from here, I can't see them. And that is the perfect outcome for what kind of scratches they were. Happy with that. Whew, I think this one's gonna be a bit of a quicker vlog, I think. That is awesome. Love it. So 2023 Mercedes CLA scratch removal enhancement detail that has been utilized. Let's roll some afters.